Hello, and welcome back to The Grunt Perspective. And in today's video, I wanna talk about terrain model kits. Uh, before I talk about that, just terrain models in general. Uh, terrain models, if you don't know what it is, is trying to take um, a section of map and put it on the ground. So it's easier to brief off of so everyone can get a better like a visual representation of the, of the terrain that they're actually going to be on and uh, it's used to help orient everyone in, in your unit as opposed to just the leaders. Um, and they're pretty important. A, a, a lot of times the terrain model is done like one big one is done in the rear but a lot of times what doesn't happen is the terrain model it doesn't get built when you're actually out in the uh, in the field in the environment, um, and that's and that's a bad thing for a couple of reasons. One, it's just lazy. Um, you know, you know that you're supposed to do that. You need to do that. Um, but two, if you think about it, like a lot of people like to say it's not important, and those people are the people that make the plans. Like. They say that it's not important, and of course it's not important to them because they know the plan, they made the plan, they understand every aspect of it, and they know exactly what they're expecting. But they neglect to think about the, the, the lowest common denominator, the guy that hasn't seen the map, doesn't know the plan, and he's just executing. And a terrain model might be the only sort of like talk on that he gets prior to the mission. Uh, the terrain model and the order brief might be the only thing that he gets prior to the mission. So the terrain model is really important to him because if something happens, people get lost, the whole patrol itself gets lost, he, he, he might not have a map to get himself back. He might not have navigation equipment to get himself wherever. But if he's committed to memory, the, ter the terrain model and he remembers from the brief, it might help him to navigate uh, to find a friendly unit or something, uh, to complete the mission at the least. So terrain models are important. Um, they need to be done because you know it's not, it's not for you. You know the plan, right? Uh, but it's not for you. It's for everyone else. So this is a little uh, field expedient kit. It's relatively lightweight, um, and I can just give this whole thing in one in one package to someone, and I can tell them I need a terrain model of this square or these four squares or something like that, and they can go do that while I'm writing the order. Um, and I've done it before, so. Uh, I've used this to good effect, and I just thought I wanted to share it uh, for people that might be kind of at a loss. So, the pouch itself is just, I don't know, some, some, some cheap piece of junk. Um, but, you know, it's, it's, you could use a Ziploc bag for all I care, but I, I've got this. Um, and inside, I've got a couple things. i got a roll, a roll of tape package of map pens and assorted colors so you can uh, you can kind of identify onto onto uh, the terrain model you can you can color code things um, maybe red for enemy blue for friendly and green for something you know black is obviously black you, you can you can write your write your TCMs and grids and stuff like that um, but just have a couple different colors it's nice uh, for someone who you know like I said, doesn't know the plan or the situation, can look at a color and be like, oh, okay, enemy units, friendly units, um, and whatnot. Inside, uh, I just got a package of long golf tees. These things are relatively expendable. I kind of go through them pretty quickly because they break, but it's whatever, just a package of long golf tees so you can stick it into the ground. Um, inside as well, I've got uh, four aluminum tent stakes. These are, these are useful to like make 
the four corners of your train model, you, you, you know, like be, it'll be depending on how large your train model is, but four is usually good. Um, you just get your four corners. And then if you want to add more, you can use, you can use the golf tees um, and just wrap 550 cord around them. Speaking of 550 cord, I've got a good uh, length of 550 cord here. Um, normally, you know, you could carry a couple different colors of, of this. You could carry like, uh, this one is green. Obviously you could carry black. If you wanted to get fancy with it, you could carry like blue, red, green, and like just whatever color you want to carry uh, to represent all kinds of different things. But, um, you know, just some 550 cord. It's good for actually putting like the grid lines down on your train model and then like to trace out roads, trails, and things like that. Um, but there's a lot of things that you can just pick up off the ground and use uh, to depict those things. Either way, it's in there. And then the last thing that I have inside here is about 20 to 25 uh, laminated note cards. Um, I've, I've used the kits before that have like the pre, like the cards that already have the, like the symbols on them. And what I found is they never have the symbols that I want to use. And sometimes you just kind of need a card to write something that maybe isn't like a standard symbol or something like that. Um, so I just keep some of those. And then what I normally do is I'll just take a piece of tape. I'll attach a golf tee and a piece of tape and I'll just tape them together like that and they go go right into the ground and you can move them throughout your order brief and whatnot. Um, you know, it's lightweight, easy to carry, rel relatively small um, and you know, it's uh, it's one of those things that like people could debate the necessity of carrying and, and I understand that, you know, like if I am carrying a really heavy, heavy load, maybe I wouldn't take this, but just having it is, is, is nice. It makes your briefs that much better. It makes your, your like, um, your comprehension for your, for your guys. Uh, it makes it better for them because they can they can visualize things and they're not just looking at like a box on the ground with rocks and a line and grass pulled out and laid on top of the areas and stuff like that and the whole thing just you can't even really tell what it's trying to depict you got like sticks for roads and stuff like that and uh, it's it's just not it's not very clear. And if you see that, if if you know when you see that, because I'm sure you've seen that, uh, you, you know that you you can't tell what you're looking at. Um, so just having a little bit of stuff to make a good terrain model, it's going to help you out. Uh, it may save people's lives. Uh, you never know. Anyway, um, relatively short short video. Thanks for tuning in to the Grub Perspective, and I'll see you guys next time.